is Owen Marvin, and uh, welcome to my college freshman dorm room tour. Uh, I am a student at Bowdoin College. I just started. I've been here for about a month, and it's been awesome. Everything's been so, so cool. Uh, anyway, we're here for a dorm room tour. Uh, if you're watching this, uh, there's like a 99% chance that you're interested in Bowdoin, and you're looking at this because you want to get an idea of what the dorm rooms are like here. Um, so this is one of the dorm rooms. There's a lot of variations, but this room that I'm in is in uh, main hall, uh, which probably doesn't mean anything to you if you haven't been to Bowdoin before, but it's about right in the center of campus. It's only for freshmen. It's co-ed. Co uh, main hall is a really nice building. It was remodeled in 2007. The building actually burned down twice before, so this isn't the original main hall. Also, we have a, uh, a bell that goes every 15 minutes, which is nice. So I'm expecting this dorm tour to get a lot of views. So it only makes sense that I plug my YouTube channel right now. Please subscribe. I'm going to be posting stuff about Bowdoin for the rest of the next four years. And if you think I'm at all entertaining, um, thank you. And uh, please consider subscribing. Okay, dorm room tour. Let's go. All right, so we do live on the fourth floor. It's a long way down. And we have to walk up four flights of stairs. There is no elevator in Main Hall. Some of them have elevators, but uh, Main Hall only has it up to the second floor. There's our neighbors. Uh, there's more neighbors down there. And that room on the end, this is actually a study room. So we have like a designated room where you can just come and do homework in if you need a, a quiet room. Uh, so this is the bathroom set up here. There's two bathrooms, and then these two rooms are showers. And there's also another shower stall in each bathroom. So uh, bathroom setup's been pretty good. We got some shelving here. We keep shoes on, a little blackboard. Uh, somebody wrote my name all over it. So I am in a quad, which means there's four people living in here. There's the common room in the middle, which has the main door coming in. And then off to this side is a room for two guys. And then on that side is a room for the other two guys. This one's mine. We'll get in there in a second. So the college provides four desks, one for each person. Um, the desks are pretty good. They got a little bit of storage space on them. It's a good spot to just like store things, charge your laptop, whatever. Uh, we have our own mini fridge, microwave, and coffee maker. Uh, different guys brought those in. I believe you can rent those from the college if you need things like that, but we brought them in and it was definitely worth it. Um, this is great for popcorn. This is great for beverages. Uh, college also provides this big shelf here. We use it as our snack shelf. I don't know what other people use it for. And we also have this polar bear guy, courtesy of my roommate Gabe's mom. So thank you Gabe's mom for the polar bear. It's, the, it's our best decoration. So these are our wardrobes. You can move them around wherever you want. Uh, there's three drawers here, and then there's the clothing space. So I have a hamper there, and then all my hanging clothes. There's also storage on top. I keep some shoes up there, my ukulele. This is the garbage setup. Uh, this thing right there, if you're wondering, is a brick that I painted to look like SpongeBob. We use it as a doorstop. But that's the garbage setup. You got recycling, mixed, it's zero sort, and then trash. And then I just bring those down like once or twice a week, depending on how fast we fill them up. It is all the way in the basement, so it's a bit of a hike, but it hasn't been too much of a problem. And of course, one of the highlights of the room is the couch. So Bowden actually gave us the couch with the room. Uh, every room gets a couch, and it's not like the world's most comfortable couch, but it came with the room. It's pretty awesome to have a couch, just to like have somewhere to chill, or if for some reason you can't go into your room because, you're, because you can't go in there, you can just uh, crash on the couch or something. We got the f phone for emergencies. We got some gummy polar bears. Uh, Bowden's mascot is the polar bears, if you didn't already know that. So, yeah, that's why that's why the polar bears there. So there's two windows in the common room, um, both double hongs, uh, pretty functional. We have them open a lot at the beginning of the year, but it's starting to get cold now, so we're not gonna have them open all the time, save energy and stuff. And then there's heaters under the windows. If you're wondering about outlets, outlets have been not a problem. I haven't, like, you'll definitely want to bring some sort of power strip, probably, to plug in all your electronics. But, uh, there's, there's an outlet under my desk, so there's outlets in that corner. There's just a lot of outlets around. And now for my room. So, this is my, my tiny little room. So, the one wardrobe in the common room is mine. But the other guys had room to fit theirs in here. So, uh, my roommate and I got the smaller room out of the... The two, the two dorms. Oh, I have a visitor. Okay, uh, what was I saying again? I was saying something about uh, wardrobes. So this room was smaller, and we only fit one wardrobe in here. But if I run to the other room quick. 
They have two that both fit in here. They also got two windows, which was quite fortunate. We only have one. But this is my little area here. This is where I sleep. This is my bed. I got some some sheets and stuff on there. I don't think you guys care what they are. Put a little couple pictures on the wall. Just stuff I ordered on Shutterfly. Some posters of my my favorite albums and stuff. And I got that little bed stand there. Uh, that's I would recommend one of those things. You can find them at like Target, whatever. They have such a small footprint that you can really fit them anywhere. Because um, some beds are going to be closer to the walls and stuff. A lot of people coming here were worried about like what size bed table to get. Um, I wouldn't worry so much. Don't get one that will clip onto your bed. Because at least here, ours just have like this metal rail and it's like you can't really get anything on there. But yeah, this this cube thing has worked really well for me. I also got a little outlet right there. Uh, there's outlets pretty much by all the beds. And then these are my little dressers. I got like pants in there, shirts in another one. Plenty of room for clothes. And maybe some of you wear more clothes than other people and you might have a harder time fitting it in there. But for me it was no problem and I think most people won't have a problem with it. There is no mirrors in the dorm. I bought this tall mirror from Target for like five bucks. If you guys want to have one of those just so that like you can look at yourself in the morning. Like to see what your clothes look like or something. I don't know what you do with a mirror. But yeah, that's pretty much the dorm. Oh, we got, we got the beer poster there. Um, not that we drink beer or recommend or condone the consumption of alcohol while under the age of 21 in the United States. But that sign is just there. I, I don't know, I kinda wanna just like make sure you guys have the angle so you can see the size of the room. Um, and also keep in mind that this is one of the smaller dorms at Bowdoin, one of the smaller quads at least. There are lots of other options that are gonna be arranged in a lot of different ways. Even, even different rooms in the same hall and on the same floor will have different setups. So just to run over a list of what's included in the dorm, uh, you get the couch, you get the coffee table, you get the bookshelf, you get four desks with four chairs. You get one wardrobe per person. Each person gets two dresser things, each person gets a bed. So, I mean, they give you enough stuff, like, we didn't have to bring any furniture other than, like, bedside tables, and then these things. So, um, that was really convenient. A lot of people will bring a lamp to college. I have like this thing, it's a USB chargeable lamp, so I don't have to like plug it into the wall or anything. Which is kind of convenient, especially because I don't use it that much. I've used it like once. One of the advantages of being on the fourth floor is the, the nice view from the window. That's uh, Smith Union over there. You know what, I'll give you an outside tour sometime. I feel like this has been way too easy. I've just been walking around talking about the, the stuff in our room. And I totally feel like I'm gonna forget stuff that people wanna know. So definitely comment anything you, like any questions you had when I was trying to do the video, I'm totally gonna answer you guys. It's like the fall season now, so I got a little spooky pumpkin. And I actually got my flu shot today. Look, I got this, uh, I, got a, I got a cute uh, band-aid with Tweety Bird on it. So that was very nice of the doctor. So yeah, that's basically been uh, my dorm room tour. I don't, I feel like I need to do more entertaining or more information stuff, but definitely subscribe because more information about Bowdoin is going to be coming out all of this year and like next year and the year after that and even one more year. That That's four years. So subscribe, smash the like button on this video so that it gets recommended to more people. Leave your comments. I want to know what you have to say, some feedback. Leave any questions. I'll answer them. I promise. And yeah, this has been Bowdoin College Dorm Room Tour with Owen Marvin. Subscribe, and hopefully I will see you guys next time in my next video.